Hello everybody, now I'm having that uh, Volkswagen Jetta, uh, maybe 2007 or 8 used cluster. I already have the original car data here. If I minimize that and go to test. Um, Jetta Orge Emo. Okay, that file is the deleted emu file from the car. Okay, for, and also for that working key. Now we have that used cluster uh, from the junk yard or uh, used spare parts seller, and we need to connect it and write the original car data or emu data to it to get that working key. Start uh, the car with that new cluster. So now I will put the new key or I'm um, sorry the original car key to uh, the coil or antenna and turn power on here is can wires connected and also OBD2 16 pin for VVDI2 now I will minimize that and go to VVDI2 software and click on diag can't auto detect, but it will recommend CDC 32, 24C 32. Okay, now here we have immobilizer active error sure because that key is not the compatible key for that cluster right now. So uh, if I go to uh, key learn for Micronus CDC, then read the data. Now it can't find the working key. Can't find the working key. Use working key to switch the ignition on if the car is killed. Go. Okay, so in that situation, we need to deal with that cluster as ATL or key lost. So we need to click on OK and go to um, either of one ways, uh, Pogo Pin or Service Mode. Here I will go to Service Mode and read the instructions. Save if it's coding, find the chip from dashboard read save dump prepare then make it with Ephraim dump and write to Ephraim dump to dashboard resolve back to main window of the operation load original Ephraim and write back to the car okay so now we will need to disassemble that cluster and read with a PDM programmer uh, the Ephraim of it which is uh, 24C32 then prepare the service Ephraim and write it back again so I will close power and also disconnect the connector and disassemble that cluster to be, to be able to reach Ephraim and we will also get PVDI Pro ok now that's it and we will come back again ok now we disassembled these parts, that one is the first, and the needles, and the, the back paper, that piece, and also that piece. Till now we have that printed circuit board, the final one. We have already two screws out. Uh, to take that piece out, you need to remove these two screws to get the CDC uh, processor, but uh, we don't need that. We only need that EEPROM here, okay? That EEPROM, we will need to, to read it and uh, prepare the, the service EEPROM dump with uh, VVDI2 for it. Now I will get VVDI2 and connect the clip to the EEPROM and read the original EEPROM file, okay? Okay, now I connected the clip to the EEPROM and to VDI prog and the power also is connected. So I will minimize that and uh, open VDI prog software. EEPROM is T. Twenty-four P thirty-two. Read. Operation success. Now that the Ephraim file. 
and how it looked like. Now I will save, go to test uh, that file, Jetta. Uh, this file I will save as Twenty-four C C thirty-two original Aprom BDM uh, Orish. I already wrote original here. Okay, now I will save. Now I will minimize Vivid Iprog software, and here I will connect the USB to VVDI two, and uh, go to Volkswagen. Go to Keylearn, fourth, Microna CDC, service mode, prepare, service Aprom, please load the original dump, K, okay. that's the original dump, open, press OK to save service mode, Aprom file, warning back right, the original file, OK. Now I will save that file as 24C32. <laughs> Service Aprom and save. Uh, close that. Minimize. Now I will need to connect the USB again to VVDI Prog. Same thing. It con is connected and open. Now let me show you something. I want to go to test and. Uh, Just compare the two files here, the original one and service Aprom. You should have a little bit difference. Here is the difference between them. Beginning from that address to that one. And I will close that now. Minimize. Uh, open VVDI uh, prog software and open service e from open write continue yes erasing and writing operation success okay now you need to close that and going back to the instructions of uh, all lost go to killer that one I'm sorry I forgot to connect the USB here. But I think, or as I remember, the first uh, the step that we need to do right now is to write the EPROM back, but by OBD2, I think. Uh, prepare service, Unix service, and write the service EPROM down to restore dashboard to car so now we will need to disconnect power from here and also the clip move give the eye probe away and now we need to install everything back in back to main window load original e from dom and right back to the car but by via obd2 which will be with vvdi2 okay now i will assemble everything back in for the cluster and Connect with the OBD2 to, to it and write the EPROM, uh, original EPROM back again, but with this time will be with VVDI2 by OBD2. Okay, now I will assemble the cluster back again and come back. Okay, now I just pushed that uh, front printed circuit board for the cluster to the lower one and connected with. Uh, OBD2 connector here and now I will turn the power supply switch on and also terminal 30 and 15 so now I'm connecting uh, my OBD2 with the key here now I will continue 
with that step, step number five, load original E from dump and right back to the car. Okay, now I will close that and uh, click on diag. Okay, healer. Also, here you have to look for something. Now you, you, you are not having immobilizer active anymore on the cluster. So uh, that's uh, after writing the service EPROM to the uh, EPROM cell. Now I will go to an instrument Micronus and uh, load file. Make sure you choose the original one. Okay, open, then write EPROM. Yes, start security login, turn off and on by itself same thing here uh, please turn ignition off for 5 seconds and again on before continue now here is the ignition and that one is terminal 30 so I will turn only that one off and wait 1 2 3 4 five and back on again now the cluster lights came back on and here I will click on ok now it says start security login writing that here writing data please wait Now it continue completed but data marked with red can't be written reset and split after all operation is finished okay now it's supposed to be able to get the emo data or load it so now I will click on read emo data start security limit split limit success okay I will save that file for uh, the emo data as donor now I will save as donor emo data and save uh, load file that one we already took from the car uh, that one urge emo open is the current load file zero data yes then write emo data yes writing data please wait write data successor just to set an instrument after all operation is finished okay now I will reset an instrument turn it off and on and say it here reset success so now I will turn the ignition off okay and ignition on supposed not to have anything here related to mobilizer now I will turn the ignition off and take the original car key out of the coil and switch the ignition on now it says immobilizer active we'll do it once again turn the ignition off insert the original car key back to the coil turn the ignition on check brake pads doesn't matter what error we have right now but the most important thing that we don't have a blazer fault so ignition off take the key out ignition on now blazer active so now that's done and we'll turn the ignition switch off also that one also the power supply now I will need to assemble uh, the remaining covers and needles and uh, all of that stuff okay